Faxian bared his teeth in a fierce smile. Hunt bristled. Like hell would these males make her back down. Why don't you come a little closer, Bryce Quinlan? Don't talk to her. Spare me the protective alpha hole act. Before Hunt could reply, she'd stalked over to Pollux's cell. Pollux made a show of looking her over from head to stilettos, his pretty boy face as battered as Hunt's. I thought your kind usually worked the night shift. <laughs> Any other outdated jabs to throw my way? Sex work is a respectable profession in Crescent City. It's not my fault Pangera hasn't caught up with modern times. Pollux brimmed with malice. Micah should have killed you and been done with it. She let her eyes glow. Let him see that she knew all he'd done to hunt, how much she detested him. That's the best you can come up with. I thought the hammer was supposed to be some kind of sadistic badass. And I thought half-breed whores were supposed to keep their mouths closed. Fortunately, I know the perfect thing to shove in that trap of yours to shut you up. Bryce winked saucily. Careful, I use teeth. (coughs) Hunt coughed and Bryce leaned forward, close enough that if Pollux extended an arm, his hand could wrap around her throat. Pollux's eyes flared, noting that fact. I don't know who you pissed off to be sent to this city, but I'm going to make your life a living hell if you touch him again. (laughs) Pollux lunged, fingers aiming for her neck. She let her power surge, bright enough that Pollux reared back, an arm flung over his eyes. Bryce's lips quirked to the side. I thought so. She backed away a few steps, pivoting toward Hunt once more. He cocked an eyebrow, eyes shining beneath the bruises. Fancy, Quinlan. I aim to impress. A low laugh (laughs) whispered behind her, and Bryce found the hellhound now leaning against the wall opposite the cells, beside a large TV. I take it I'll be seeing more of you than I'd like. Baxian sketched a bow. He wore lightweight black armor made of overlapping plates. It reminded her of a reptilian version of Hunt's suit. Maybe you'll give me a tour. Keep dreaming. The hellhound's dark eyes gleamed. He turned on his heel and spoke before entering the elevator. Glad someone finally put a bullet through Micah's head. Bryce stared after him in stunned silence. Had he come down here for any reason other than to say that? (sighs) Pollux remained pointedly silent in his cell. Bryce gripped the bars of Hunt's cell. No more fights. If I say yes, can we go home now? He gave her a mournful pout, almost identical to Syrinx's begging. Bryce suppressed her smile. Not my call. A voice floated from an intercom in the ceiling. I've seen enough. He's free to go, Miss Quinlan. The bars hissed, the door unlocking with a clank. Thank you. And what of me? I didn't start this fight. The shithead had balls. Bryce would give him that. You also didn't do anything to defuse it. Forgive me for fighting back while being pummeled by a brute. From the corner of her eye, Bryce could have sworn Hunt was grinning wickedly. We shall discuss this later. Pollux was wise enough not to snap a reply. Keep Athalar in line, Miss Quinlan. Bryce waved at the camera mounted beside the TV. When Celestina didn't answer, Bryce stepped back to allow Hunt out of his cell. He limped toward her, badly enough that she looped her arm around his waist as they aimed for the elevator. You two mongrels deserve each other. Bryce blew him a kiss.